Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer, and today we're here on Elden Ring, and we're gonna check out a mod called Pause the Game. I was playing yesterday, and I was like, I wish there was a mod where you could just pause the game, and I searched it, and there was. <laughs> so I was like, hey, the modern community are oh, great. So I'm gonna show you how to install it. You do have to turn off Easy Anti Cheat, which I'll talk about in a second. But before all that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tap the notification bell, smash that like button, and comment below if you're having any problems, if you want any help with any other mods, if you can suggest any other mods, just comment below and let me know. Right, without further ado, let's get on with it. So you want to head over to Nexus Mods, go to Elden Ring, this is mod number 43, there's not many mods out there, it's called Pause the game you will need a nexus mods account it's really easy to sign up it takes two seconds you get free downloads once that's done it's made by techie w there is full instructions on here but sometimes i know some people are a little bit worried of pc game and they're going to break something so we're going to go through it right first thing you need to do is disable the anti-cheat what this basically does is it means that you won't be able to play online anymore which for me as a solo player is fine, I don't care. Also, it'll stop people invading your game, so that is fantastic. I got invaded three times yesterday and it was really pissing me off. So I was like really struggling to do something and I kept getting invaded. So for me, I'm quite happy that Easy Anti-Cheat is off. So first step, you need to locate where your game is installed. So the easiest way for this is to head on Steam, go into your library, go to Elden Ring, right click, go to Manage, Go to Browse Local Files. Once you've clicked Browse Local Files, it'll pop up just like that and tell you exactly where it's installed. Usually it'll be in your CDE drive. Definitely in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring. Generally where you're going to find it. So yeah, in there. And then you click Game. Once you're in Game, you'll see a couple of files. There's not too many in here. I might have a few extra because I have the mod installed already. So step number one is to create this text document here. To do that, all you need to do is right click in an empty space, go down to new, go down to text document. So you can see there, name it. I'll just drag the little box across so you can see. Steam underscore app ID dot text. I will put it in the description as well. So you can just copy and paste it. I'll get rid of that copy there because I already have one. Open it up and in there type one, two, four, five, six, two, zero. Just like that. One, two, four, five, six, two, zero and click save. And that'll have the document like that. Make sure it has .txt at the end. Second step is, can you see here, which has a little bear beside it, startprotectedgame.exe. Again, I've already done this, but I'll show you how to do it. Right click on it. Click rename. Where it says exe at the end, leave it as .old. So get rid of the exe and replace with old. Once you've replaced it with OLD, your folder will look something like that. Why you're doing that is just means it's a backup. It means you can revert easy anti-cheat on nice and easy. Step number three is come up to here where it says eldenring.exe. Right click, go to copy. Right click in this empty space and click paste. That'll, that'll paste that and make a copy. So it'll be like Elden Ring copy. I'll just show you how it works. Copy.exe. And what you want to do is rename that. Start underscore protected underscore game dot exe. That will then look something like that. And the little panda will go on the front of it. And that means that is the easy anti-cheat kind of set up. Now that you've done that is the easy step. So you just go up to files on here, click manual download, and that'll download the folder. You'll need WinZip or 7-Zip or something like that. I use 7-Zip all the time. It's a much better program. Once it's downloaded, you'll have a file like this. If you open it up, you'll see three files. And what we're going to do is copy them into the main Elden Ring directory. Just remember, if you're not sure where it is, to go into your Steam library, right-click Elden Ring, click Manage, 
click browse local files. So you'll have something like this. Click on game, highlight them three, and just click and drag into your main directory. You don't have to put it into a folder, nothing like that. Click and drag so you can see there, hook fonts, hook textures, and DX, there you go, gi.dll. So all you do on 7-Zip is click and drag. If you're using a different program, you might have to extract it first and then put them in there. So once you've followed them steps, you can just come back into here, press play, press play. You just start the game up as normal, so just continue where you were. It'll say that you're offline. As I said, it means you can't get raided. It means you can't play co-op. Once you're in, run around, press P. There we have it. Game paused. Press P again. <clears throat> unpaused. Paused. Unpaused. There is a slight micro stutter if you're doing something like say you're running. If you unpause, can you see how it kind of speeds up a little bit? So just be a bit careful where you do pause it, especially if you're in the middle of combat, like a swing or something. You might want to be a bit careful where you do it. But for just general use, if you're just in the game world, chilling out, you don't want to get attacked while you go and get a drink or do something else, take a phone call, press P game post. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.